good afternoon. It is a Monday. Um, it's about 12.20. I just dropped off my youngest daughter at school. Um, in case you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. Hi. <laughs> and um, I do homeschool my kids, but we are also a part of a charter public school. And um, they take classes on Mondays at the school. And so my two oldest, who are in third and first grade, uh, get dropped off in the morning. And um, my oldest has elective classes, but she goes, she has like seven elective classes. She changes classrooms from period to period um, all day long. And then my first grader has a first grade class that she's a part of. And then my youngest daughter, who's in TK, she, um, goes for a half day in the afternoon so we just dropped her off for her part of the day and now we are on our way to Costco um, one of you requested a video of me taking you along with me on shopping trips like grocery shopping trips so I thought I would give it a try and see how it goes um, since I only have my son with me I thought it might be a little easier to try it on this trip than when I have all four of my kids with me um, Granite Costco is like the easiest store for me to go with all four of my kids to. It's the easiest one for me even with just my son because it's the only shopping cart that he cannot climb out of while buckled in every other shopping cart. He's able to get out of the, the straps and climb all over the cart and everything. So this is like the one place where I can keep him contained. The only negative I thought of um, about going without all the rest of my kids is I was thinking, oh, my, my girls could have like filmed me while I was shopping and then I could have showed you maybe a little bit more versus me trying to film myself while I'm shopping. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not too far away. It's just down the road here. So um, I thought I'd take you along. We'll see how it goes. And I'll kind of, I think, do my shopping haul while I'm doing it, if that makes sense, instead of doing a different haul video. Um, so hopefully this turns out well and um, it, it turns into whatever it is you're hoping it will be um yeah so i will see you at costco in just a couple minutes you want to take it you want to take our car people are gonna take our car uh oh i don't want them to take our car that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, my car. A Maui car? Yeah. So one thing I hadn't considered when I decided to film for you guys in here is that I have my list on my phone and I'm filming on my phone. So we'll see how this works because I have to, oh, that's lovely. I'm going to have to, go, hi, I'm going to have to going back and forth between filming and looking at my phone on my shopping list. Um, I, <laughs> I tend to start towards the back. Um, like where the first cold area is, where they have the meats and things. Um, I sometimes Hi. will look at clothes if I'm in need of any. I am not today. Hello. Occasionally I'll look at the like household Hello. goods and things, but again, not in need of any, anything today. Hi. Um, you can be a very talkative helper today, I guess. Um, it's mostly just food that I need today. So that's what we're going to concentrate on. And I think we're starting with ground turkey. I think that's the first thing we're getting. I'm going to check my phone right now, though. Ground turkey. So I tend to buy ground turkey instead of ground beef. Um, and I use it for, like, taco meat, hamburgers, well, really turkey burgers. And a few other dishes. I actually have a video on things that I use ground turkey for, so I'll try to link that above. But when I look for it, I look not only for the user please by date, but I also look at how much weight. And I try to get one of the heavier ones, since I do things in batches, like make a bunch of ground um, 
like a bunch of hamburgers or a bunch of taco meat all at once. So since I want to be doing that at the least amount as possible, I try to get one that's um, a higher weight. So I'm just going to look for that real fast and this one actually is looking pretty good. Um, and then I'll just go get one of those orange bags to put this in and then get it in the cart. That's chicken food? I don't think chickens are going to eat the ground turkey, baby. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to go over to the produce area. It's cold. Oh, blueberries. I always try to look at the bottom um, just to see if there's any, I can see any mold or anything going on them um, before I pick them up. And I think I'm just going to get one container this week. I normally have been getting two, but one should do us because I still have a full one in the fridge and a little bit left of one container from last week. And I tend to just look at what is the yeah. cheapest of the times types that I like. And I think we're gonna go with the pink lady apples. So on these, I look for um, if I see any molding near the stem, any obvious bruising, and I also try to get, um, sometimes they have them packaged differently where they have smaller ones and then larger size ones, and I try to get the smaller ones um, just because that's what we prefer. We are completely out of apples, so I'm going ahead to pick up two. Everyone in the family loves apples, so you need to be six for what? to go on that? You think so? Can you go on it? Are you six? No, no so you can't go on it. That's so sad. Do you want to go on it? But you need to be six, huh? Good thing you have a playground at home already, huh? Yeah. All right, I think, oh, I see what I need next over the little cuties. We're gonna, the last batch I got last week um, were really good. So we're going to pick up some more of those cuties. And then I'm going to try to find some green bananas because we have a lot of ripe bananas still at home. Um, so I'm just going to see if there's any greener ones that will last us a little longer. And this pineapple over here is kind of calling my name. So I might pick up one of those as well. Um, there's not too much rhyme or reason as to how I pick out these except for again looking for any visible signs of any of them molding. Um, looks good enough to me oh, in case you're interested in the price. All right one of those. Now on pineapples. I look for the largest one and then other than that um, I don't look too much for anything else. I know I've mentioned this before but this one's looking. Um, Sometimes I like to see if they're starting to mold on the bottom at all. Um, and I let these sit on my counter for about a week before I ever um, cut them up. And that tends to help them ripen more and they get sweeter and juicier. My, Just a minute, please. Um, my brother uh, swears by cutting off the top flipping them upside down and then sticking them in the fridge and then that's supposed to distribute the um, sugars in it as well. So I've always had good luck with my method and he likes his so try them both out and see which one you like. I'm just gonna look around for a minute and find one that I like. Alright, on to bananas. And I try to get the organic ones when I can if they're the right ripeness that I'm looking for.
Oftentimes the ones down in the middle bottom of these boxes at Costco have smaller size bananas just because of how they fit in the boxes and my kids prefer not so large bananas. I'm not finding them so much now of course but um, they they just like small bananas so I try to get those whenever possible and these are a good greenness. I think I might pick up two bunches of this. Oh, and they're three pounds each, in case you were wondering. Okay, next I think we're going to get some vegetables over here. I think I'm going to get some squash and green beans. We already have broccoli in the fridge. And so the squash and the green, the, green, the green beans will last us for a bit. Bash. What? When you bash. Bash? Bash. Play Minecraft. Play Minecraft, yeah. Okay, let's, let me go get some vegetables. I'll be right back. I try to get smaller ones, but it doesn't always happen, especially when you're here just buying a bag of them like this. And sometimes it's hard to see in them, especially one-handed. I think I'm going to go with that first bag I pulled. They look good. Now, these green beans are really good, but they can be hit or miss. Oh, actually this looks fairly good. I always look for water, how much moisture is in the bottom of the bag, the back and the bottom, because um, that makes them go a lot faster. Um, they don't last nearly as long if they have a bunch of moisture in them. And this will last us, see there's quite a bit on that side. This lasts us like three meals at our house. But we do like green beans, so that's not a big deal. I think that one's pretty good considerably, considering the other ones. So I think we'll go with this one. Okay, let me check my phone, make sure there wasn't any other produce I wanted, and then it's on to dairy. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Get some milk. Pizza, pizza. You want pizza? Woo, cold. I don't really look at, I hope you can hear me, I don't really look at expiration dates on the milk because we go through it that quickly that it really doesn't matter for us. Okay, next is eggs. And I buy these um, cage-free, extra-large eggs. It's kind of my happy medium between buying the five dads in here, which is cheaper a little bit. Um, it's my medium between that and organic. Um, I just can't um, bring myself to buy the organic because it's just so much more expensive and we go through so many eggs. Um, so this is kind of like my happy medium between the two. So I'm getting, these are two 18, or no, 24 count. So that's four dozen. Um, and that'll last us a week or two, two weeks probably. Okay, I think that was it for dairy. Um, now we're going to go get some frozen chicken breasts. So if you have ever seen any of my videos from years ago, 
I used to do monthly grocery shopping and prepping for food. And I haven't done that for quite a while now. Um, and so I used to buy fresh chicken breasts and I would try to find them on sale at the best price I could. And just, I got tired of it, honestly. I'm burned out from doing all the prepping and planning and everything. So I've been more fly by the seat of my pants as far as meals go. And so I've started buying these um, frozen boneless skinless chicken breasts. They're thin sliced, so they're not as large. And I've been using that a lot more, that with my Instant Pot a ton more. And um, it saved me a lot. Um, just in like sanity, honestly. Um, I just know that I have chicken in the freezer and I can throw things together in the Instant Pot for it, um, frozen. And I know I can make a dinner out of that if I, you know, in a pinch. So I've, I've been doing that for quite a while now and it's worked out well for us. Eventually I might go back to doing fresh chicken again and all my monthly prepping. But part of it too is I just don't, for some reason, have the room in the freezer anymore to get a whole month's worth at a time. And if I'm gonna go through all of the mess of cutting up fresh chicken and getting it in freezer bags with their marinades and all of that stuff, I really only want to, want to do it once a month. And if I can't even get that much in my freezer anymore to last for the whole month, it's just like I can't even <laughs> muster the energy to do it. So this is working for us and that's why I'm buying that, which is totally different from if you've seen any of my previous videos on how I used to meal prep and plan and all that stuff. Okay, I need to check my list again. I don't think I need any of these household items. They have like laundry detergent, paper goods, things like that back here and I don't think I need anything there. I am going to check and see if by chance my laundry detergent is on sale because I'm getting low on that. Um, but if it's not, I'm not going to buy it this trip. I'm going to wait and see if maybe it'll come on sale and see if what I have will last. And then, but I do know that I need more cold items in this section. So let me just double check my list before I move away from here. Hi. So now we don't need anything else from over here. Um, but what I just had my son do, which he didn't get to see since it was on my phone, is I let him check off the items that we just got in the cart um, so it's a little way to keep him entertained he likes just being able to check in the box um, the ones that I tell him to so it's a fun little thing for him to get to do and when my girls are with me I try to have them participate in grabbing items from like the cold areas and the shelves and things like that so that they can get things and then that also helps me not to have to go down every single aisle because I just send them down an aisle and tell them what to look for and then they grab it and bring it back to me. So that's some ways that I try to keep my kids involved and also keep them out of my hair while we're trying to get the shopping done. <laughs> not on sale so we will not be getting it this time. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon and I'll be able to get more of that. Okay, so next, you're funny, you're so funny, let's go get some orange juice Landon. You need what? I don't know what you're saying. Nummy in your tummy? Woo! You just hit my phone. Silly goose. We use whipped cream instead of like syrup on pancakes and waffles and things like that, so we go through this fairly quickly. Just depends on how often we have waffles and pancakes around. Okay. I think. I need to check my phone again. Do you want to try a yogurt drink? No. Yeah? Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want to try that? Yeah. It's a yogurt drink. A pro, uh, probiotic yogurt drink. What do you think? I like it. You like it? I know, your sisters like it, but it takes up so much room in the refrigerator, mommy doesn't buy it. 
All right, where is, oh, it's down there, I think. I bought one of these last week and we've actually almost, ooh, it's kind of gross. Um, almost gone through the whole thing already. So um, I'm gonna buy another one. Is it still yummy? Good. What is it? It's a yogurt probiotic drink. It's good for your tummy. Ooh, Landon. They have cookies. Do you want a cookie? Yeah. Ooh, you're close. Let's find you a cookie. Right. Okay, I'll throw that in the trash Short just a minute. Chocolate, caramel, Ooh. Wow. That looks good. <laughs> if you've never had these, they're really, really tasty. But when we finally looked at how many calories there are in them, they're kind of high. 130 calories for one of these little things but they have like all good stuff in them you don't like the cookie okay mommy will eat it then you want more juice more yogurt okay just a minute okay we'll get back over there let me get some Bread first. What? Bread. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Bread. Ooh, I wonder if this is their last one. Oh no, this is not the one I want. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So the bread I'm looking for is the same brand, but it's not the honey sprouted. It's just a multi-grain. So that's sad. It looks like they don't have any. Hmm. So I could either get one of these Dave's Killer Breads. They're good, but I prefer this one. It comes in a green bag. I prefer that one more. So let me think about this. So I think I'm going to wait and see if next week they have the bread I want back because I really don't want two gigantic loaves of this if they get the other bread back next week. If not, then maybe I will go ahead and get this. We have about like a half a loaf left at home, so we'll just have to be sparse with it and make it last. We have a number of us in the family like the bread I wanted. So, yeah, boo. Okay, on to hot dog buns. Bless you. Thank you very much. Excuse me. So, we do not necessarily need that many hot dog buns, but for the price, you get so many, and I just can't, I can't bring myself to buy. Um, a smaller amount of them like even at Walmart for the same price or higher um, so sometimes they do get molded before we get a chance to use them my daughter one of my daughters is the only one that really eats them consistently sometimes the other kids will but she's like the only one um, but I happen to park right in front of these which I showed this in my last Costco haul love this stuff and this is one reason why we went through so much of the Greek yogurt is because I made waffles and then we use some of that with the Greek yogurt, mix it together and put it on the waffles and it's so yummy. So I want to buy another one of these just to have it on stock, but I'm going to wait and see because I think it's a seasonal thing. Um, they don't carry it all the time. At least it went away for a long time and then it came back just recently. Um, so I'm going to wait and see if maybe it'll drop in price before I pick up another one to keep on hand until we go through our the one we already have. Alrighty. I think... I know what I need next, but I should probably check my list just to make sure I don't skip anything any, on any of these aisles that are coming up. 
Mm, I think we are going to go down this aisle. Down? Down? Across? Uh, however you want to say it. Okay, so I love these pre-sliced olives. <laughs> they are such a time saver for me because um, we use them on tacos and on homemade pizza. And I just open up the bag and put them in mason jars and then keep those in my fridge. Um, I just opened up the bag I had stored in our garage last night and so I'm just buying this so I have it on hand so that when I run out of the ones that are in the fridge now I'll have another one and I won't have to think about it all right then oh I wonder why these are on clearance hmm we don't eat these that often but we do eat them with different meals I should show you guys how I prepare them because we don't just eat them straight out of the can like this. I doctor them up, if you will, how my mom did it and how her mom did it. Although it's a little modified from how each of them did it. So because it's going out, I'm going to buy two of them just in case. I know there's a chance the price could go down before they go away, but just in case I'm not back before they are gone, I don't want to miss out. All right, now I think on to the baking aisle. No! Okay, this was not on my list because we are not out of it, but this is my kids' favorite spaghetti. So it's on sale, which is really good. So I might pick up a couple. Oh, yummy. Potatoes and bacon. Does that sound good? So I think I'm going to pick up two packages. They're big. They have like six, I think. I need to both hands, I guess. You're a good helper. You have muscles. They actually have eight one pound packages in them. Um, so I'm going to go up two since they are on sale. I can get this one. That's spaghetti noodles. Yeah. You guys like that, huh? I think I still have either four or five of these one pound packages at home. So I'm just going to stick with the two of them for now. Oh, I just thought of something I saw in someone's cart that I wanted to see about getting. Oh, I might need to back up. Alright, so we're still looking for this drink um, that I saw in someone else's cart and I think it's on sale and I want to go look. So I'm kind of <laughs> looking around different aisles but I came across this. We're back over in the yogurt area and this is on sale and one of my daughters was just asking about, we call them yogurt tubes. And so since they're on sale, I'm going to pick one up for them because they do like these. Unfortunately, my son here gets into them in the refrigerator and eats like three in a sitting. So I have to figure out a way to monitor that. We do have a lock on our refrigerator, just a matter of remembering to lock it. And then he wants another yogurt drink, so we're going to stop by the sample table again. A yogurt drink. Make it. Make it, yeah. Thank you. More yogurt drink. You didn't like the cookie, but you like the yogurt drink. Okay, I'm just gonna peek in the back of the store. I hate doing this going back after I've already gone by. Good for your tummy, yes. But I just don't want to get all the way to the front and have missed possibly these drinks. Because I know they have water back here. I don't know if they have other drinks. They've moved things around fairly recently all over the store. So I'm still getting used to where they've put everything. Okay, I don't think it is back here, but let's just double check. Hmm, this isn't the one I want. It's the right brand. What brand? If I knew how to pronounce this, I would tell you that, but <laughs> I call it LaCroix. LaCroix? That's what I call it. I'm sure it's wrong. Um, but there's a different variety um, with like more citrusy flavor. Well, I guess this is citrus, but <clears throat> excuse me. I guess this is their citrus, citrus variety. But they're like skinnier cans. And it has like a cherry lime in it that I love. So I wanted to find that. I thought that's what I saw in this lady's cart. So I want to go see if I can find it. Maybe it's on an end cap somewhere if it is on sale. Hopefully. Oh, no, that's enough. Baby. Two samples is enough. So let's go back where we were. Get five jobs. Get 
four jobs. Four jobs? <laughs> I found it. <laughs> it is on sale. So that's what I'm getting. So it has. And I've never tried the pineapple, strawberry, apple, cranberry, but I love the cherry lime. So I am going to pick up a case of this because um, that is a good price for these. Because normally it's for a one pack of, what is this? It's 24 12 ounce cans. So one pack of eight, I guess, is like three something at Walmart, I want to say. And so you're getting it for seven dollars even regular price that's even better than Walmart so hopefully I like the other varieties I'm excited about that I love these things this is like my go-to when I want something tasty that isn't just water all right now back to the baking aisle um, I'm gonna pick up some avocado oil I have never purchased this before my brother my older brother um, he Cooking is kind of like his creative outlet, and so and he does a lot of research on things, and so he was talking about the smoking point on different oils and how avocado oil is has a super high smoking point, which meaning meaning your foods foods aren't going to Mama. burn as quickly Mama, in that Mama. oil. No, thank you. No, we're all done. So the oil isn't going to burn until it's really high temperature, meaning your food won't burn, burn in the oil until a really high temperature, which means you won't be getting carcinogens in your food, meaning you should be not getting cancer from it. So he uses avocado oil for every type of cooking. He said olive oil, he, which is what I normally use for cooking, he says he reserves that just for like salad dressings and marinades, I believe. I think that's what he said. I have to double check on that. Um, and so those are the main two oils I believe that he uses in his house. And so I'm gonna try it. Um, I never really did avocado oil because I thought it was more expensive, but honestly it's cheaper than olive oil, which is what I've been getting. So that's a nice little surprise. Okay, so I just realized something as I was unloading the car, so I'm gonna insert this here because I gave misinformation. Um, so, you know how I said the avocado oil? Oh, it's not that much, it's actually cheaper than the olive oil? No, the olive oil I've been buying, the container is quite a bit larger um, for I think almost the same price. So, let me see if I can get it out for you. Whoop. This is the olive oil, and it's a tw two liter bottle versus the avocado oil is, what is this, uh, one liter. So it is, it is more expensive. So I was right originally. I thought it was more expensive in it, and it is. So um, just wanted to throw this in there because um, I said one thing, but it really is something else. So now back to the rest of the shopping trip. Okay. What else do I need on this aisle? I feel like there's something else. Might be some of the spices. I think I think it was the ranch dressing mix was what I was gonna get next. So let's see. Hopefully they still have it in the down here. They've moved things around on this aisle too. So all of these spices used to be like on a narrow shelf going the entire length of this aisle. But now they've doubled up the aisle or put all the spices one. Kind of makes sense though this way. But I'm not seeing the ranch dressing mix. So that stinks. I don't use it a lot, but it is in some recipes. So that stinks. I may have to buy it at Walmart instead. One thing I did want to point out, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but pure vanilla extract has significantly risen in cost. Um, has something to do with the vanilla beans and how, oh, my mom was just telling me about this and I can't remember the exact reasoning, but it, I'm sure it has something to do with the harvesting and, and different things. Anyhow, I have found, I don't know what size bottle it is. I'll have to find it at home. It's a small size bottle. Um, at Walmart, Molina, I think is the brand, and it's $1.50, and it's 
pure vanilla extract and it's good. Um, I'll double check that it's pure vanilla extract. That's what I thought I bought last time. So I'll double check on that, but um, I thought it was a really good price for pure vanilla extract. And so I just bought a few bottles at a time because we go through them faster. Yeah, oh, thank you. Um, but I wanted to tell you about that because um, normally I would buy it here because you'd think you'd be getting the best price, but the best price I found is actually at Walmart, some off-brand, so there you go. Okay, now I need to check my phone again, see what is next. I'm looking at diapers. They still aren't on sale, so I'm not picking up any more of those. I just got a box last week, um, but if they're on sale, I would pick up a couple more, but they're not. So let me look at my list one more time. All right, I think that is everything. I got everything on the list. I may just like quickly look at aisles just to make sure there wasn't something that I forgot to put on the list, but I don't think so. And if I did forget something, it's not like I'm not here every single week to pick it up in a week. So um, I should get going soon to me for this guy um, eats this container, apparently. He's handing me all the little foil pieces from the top. Okay, so let me just quickly peruse, and, but I think I'm done. And so we're gonna go check out next. Okay, so I just saw this is on sale, which is a really good discount. I use cocoa powder. If I remember making a chocolate cake, I make chocolate cake from scratch, and I use cocoa powder for that, but the main thing I use it in every single day, actually, is a protein shake that I make for myself for lunch. So um, I use this to make it a chocolate protein shake. Um, so that way we, we just have vanilla protein powder on hand because my husband prefers vanilla. I prefer chocolate, so I just add some of this. So since it is on sale, I'm gonna pick up, ooh, I think I'm gonna pick up two bags um, just because I don't wanna pay full price when I do come to Nini again. So that should last me a while. I may quickly peruse the clothes. Mama, what about? Yeah. One twenty. Mama. So I don't want to take too much longer, though. I want to be able to get home and load this and before I have to go get the kids to school. Hi. Hi. So I'll just quickly look these aisles and then get a picture. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. You gonna stick your tongue out? That's a good picture. <laughs> just a minute. Um, so I'll quickly look through these. I just like looking at the clothes, not even if I'm looking for anything or going to buy anything. And then I think I'm going to check out. Okay, so I just found these, and they're like little rash guards. Um, they have some protection. I am almost always on the lookout for rash guards because my kids wear these all the time when they're out in the sun and um, doing water play. Um, and you know going to the beach and things like that so um, I have enough for my girls right now but my son he's not in this size yet but since they're here and this is a decent price and I like it I think and I, one thing I, I specifically look for on these is long sleeve um, I do not buy short sleeve rash guards anymore just because it's <laughs> it's that much less sunscreen we're putting on them and um, that much more sun protection they're just getting naturally from the rash guard so I'm gonna pick this up for the future for him I like the colors and it's what I want and it's a decent price so we're getting that so I'm glad I found that okay I'm gonna keep keep looking here just just to see, oh, they have something with Paw Patrol on it, and this guy loves his Paw Patrol. So let's go check out what that is. Paw Patrol. All right, an Acto set. What? Your Paw Patrol. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want your? Oh, and it comes with little pants too. That's cute. Let's see, small so. He is a 3T, but he's on the big side. So let me let me compare these sizes and see which one he might fit in better. Okay, I think we're gonna get the 4T. It has a longer shirt and pants and I th it'll last him longer. I don't mind his clothes being kind of big on him. So I like putting him in comfy shorts and pants like that so they'll just be long on him and that's okay because yeah. he's almost three and a half and he's on the big side for his age so this this should be good all right 
Gonna keep looking, see if there's anything else that catches my eye. So I saw these two and it's a really good price for it. It's a jacket with, it looks like some sweatpants. It's just really thin. And I have, I have a lot of thin jackets already for my girls. We don't need thick jackets very often, although it has been a colder winter for us than we're used to here in Southern California. But we do can't go camping in the summer. It can get pretty chilly then. So I feel like if I'm going to spend the money, I should wait and get it on a thicker jacket. Mm. I don't know, it's just hard when that's a really good price. I mean, just for a jacket alone, that would have been, that would be a really good price. I'm not a huge fan of brand names on clothes though either, so that's kind of a deterrent for me as well. I think I'm gonna pass it by. So, if you saw my last Costco haul, um, I picked up three of these blankets. A really good price last week and I wasn't sure if we were even gonna keep them they're so comfy and warm oh my goodness they're so soft and so warm and two of my kids really prefer the blue color so I thought okay I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab another blue one and there are no blue ones left they have every other color but blue and another lady said she was in here yesterday and everyone was grabbing all the blue ones so there's like none left, so I'm kind of sad. I took a picture of them though, and I am going to send it to my mom and mother-in-law and see if they can find them at their Costco's by chance. So we'll see, but it made me sad. And then this guy has been fascinated with these reversible sequin pillow. And it's Paw Patrol, I see it. Which way does it go, this way? Down, you want it down? Oh, there he is, there he is. He was. So, we're not getting this, but it kept his attention for a little while while mommy was looking at the blanket. He was hiding. They're a good price, though. And they have all different types, so. Good price, but we don't need another pillow, that's for sure. We're bad enough with our blankets, we don't need more pillows, too. Okay, now I think we gotta go. No. Yes, we gotta go. One more thing. One more thing. What one more thing? Um, a pillow. <laughs> pillows? Mama said no more pillows. Yeah. We have way too much stuff at our house. We don't need more pillows. Okay. This is a heavy cart. Okay. Let's go find a line right over here. Can you hold the receipt for Mama? That's our receipt for everything we just bought. <laughs> you want a happy face? That way, that way, I, I, and a nose. That's right. Yeah, arms and legs. I don't think they do arms and legs on the happy faces. Yeah. Yeah, they do? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, Landon, you gonna hand it to her? So here you go. How are you doing? A happy face. Please? Please? Oh, happy face, say thank you. Thank you. No. Does it have a nose? And eyes? Just like you wanted? All right, let's go to the car. Yes. To the farm? To the car, not the farm. <laughs> All right. Here's everything. Can you see the sun's kind of making it hard, the shadows? There we go. Got everything in the car. Now it's time to take it home and unload it before it's time to get the kids. It's almost two o'clock. Well, I think that was a very successful shopping trip and I actually had a lot of fun taking you along with me. Um, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go and it went a lot smoother than I thought. So thank you for suggesting that. I, I think that was 
kind of fun. So um, like I said, it's two o'clock. I have about 45 minutes till I need to go pick up the girls from school. So it takes me about seven, 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes to get home. Then unload the car and I need to use the restroom. Um, I drink my lunch, my protein shake on the way to dropping um, Shiloh off at school and now it's gone through me. So I need to go to the bathroom and um, get all this stuff in the fridge and freezer and put away. Um, and then hopefully I'll have a few minutes. I am in the middle of getting a video out to you. It is on um, a day we went to Disneyland and I'm super excited to get this video to you guys. So it should already be out by the time you see this video. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I take you with us the entire day and I try to give you as many helpful tips as possible um, along the way to help you if you are going to be going to Disneyland. Um, so as a larger family with younger kids, um, we've learned a lot of tips over the years from being pass holders and um, just going a lot. Um, I practically grew up going there because I lived so close and it wasn't nearly as expensive when I was younger to get to go there. So um, we just love Disneyland so much. So it, um, it was a really fun day to get to um, take you along with me. And so I hope you check out that video, but I have a few things left I have to get done to finish it up. It's been uploading all day. It was supposed to upload last night. And for some reason, I don't know if my computer fell asleep in the middle of it. Anyhow, when I woke up this morning, it was only at 5% and it should have completed um, by the time I woke up. So it's been uploading all day and I've been working on different other parts of it that have to happen before um, I post it live. But it should go up tomorrow morning. Um, so that's the hope. Or I may do it later today. I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited um, about it. So... Hopefully I'll have a few minutes to finalize some things with it um, so it'll be ready to go and I won't have to do anything with that video once the kids come home from school. Once they do come home from school, I have to do vision therapy with my oldest daughter and then hopefully I'll be able to work on a couple other videos for you guys as well this evening. Um, and I need to figure out dinner too. So it's probably gonna be chicken of some sort, mm, something. So that has to be decided as well. So hopefully I can think of that too. Um, but thanks for coming along with me to Costco with me and my son. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, and I, I think that's all. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.